and cue the music. Going hard. Going hard, yo. Go. 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 Going hard, yo. Yeah, I watched the whole game. Are, we, are you fucking with me or are you being serious? What do you mean? Did you actually watch the whole game? Uh, I watched like the last two innings. Okay, all right. I forgot that it was <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the Going Hard podcast. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so welcome to the Going Hard podcast. <laughs> Yeah, hey, oh, nice. that still, works. We, we still got the cha-ching. Wait, right. do we have the well, other? Well, because that stuff is for, is internally uh, in the fucking... Where, so there's some you. memory inside of there. What's uh, what's in the other spot? What's in the other spot? Well, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. Press it. Boom! Hey. All right. So what's up, dude? Uh, You know, not too much. What's up with you? You have been uh, you've been having a good day? Good day so far? Uh yeah, good day. Good normal day. Producer nice. producer P, how's your how's your day, bud? Uh, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah, that's cool, man. Hey, what are your guys' names again, by the way? Oh, hey, the name's Josh. I'm a like, host. Oh, okay. Pete or wait, what's your I, name? I just Pete? produce a thing, so yep. don't worry about it. I don't just, even I worry about his name, man. Thing. All right, cool. He doesn't want any credit. He's, all, right, well, he, all he wants is everyone to see the fucking legit product and hear the legit product <laughs> and just know that there's a there's a mastermind behind Listen, it. Listen, we we got uh, we, we got through the name, we got through the intro, we got through the name section. Yeah, that's all. Now the... on now onto the content section. What's uh, what's what's new out there? Oh <laughs> shit! So you uh, you don't have anything. Oh, uh, actually, I do. I was thinking about this. So. All right, here we go. So, uh, we we play kickball, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I've actually opened a, uh, the last. I think it was like a couple episodes ago with this, this same thing. Oh, a lot of stuff happens at kickball. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. So what I, I like, I like, poop, I pooped in a toilet and didn't have toilet paper. That whole thing. Oh yeah, that was uh, at uh, at the arcade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was also me. Start. I started the conversation literally by saying, "So, uh, so I play kickball, right?" Oh, okay. Yeah, so anyway. Shows how much I pay attention. Uh, Is so, this going to have anything to do with you wearing shorts? No. Okay. I no, can't no, imagine. I'm, no, yeah, I'm not. Be. Well, so we saw a uh, <laughs> we saw, we saw a couple ice cream uh, trucks going by, right? Oh, okay. okay. Well, Bruiser Pete seems like he's, he's uh, foreshadowing a good story here, so hopefully. Well, maybe, I guess. He seems I, did, like I didn't really want to get into his, that, but apparently Pete, his Pete reaction Pete to the ice cream does. trucks. Did you just say something crazy with the ice cream trucks? Yeah. Well. So, okay. So I see ice cream trucks. Uh, you know, probably once uh, every time we play kickball and stuff, and they're around here quite a bit. Yes. And, uh, got me thinking. Um, what if instead of there being an ice cream truck, we had a uh, ice cold beer truck? Oh wow. Yeah. So uh, well, it wouldn't just have ice cold beer though. It would be called that because it sounds good, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but like it would also have like you know frosty uh, margaritas, uh, maybe uh, frosés for the ladies. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a frozen rosé. Yes, I figured you know? that's what that meant. Yeah, they, the the ladies call them frosés. Yeah, is what I. And instead of children chasing an ice cream truck, those just be alcoholics. Yeah, or chasing the booze. The the what do you call it? The beer, the ice cold beer. Ice truck? cold beer truck. Yeah. Okay. And so they would, uh, it, it would be like, um, instead of the uh, like the kids songs that they play through the speakers, yeah, it would just be like the NFL like uh, theme song. Oh sure, or like Dropkick Murphys or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I just think it's good. Like I'm just saying, we could start this and we would make a lot of money. I'm just wondering about like the like how we would uh, like the legality of it. Well, I, I think, think you'd you, probably make it work, right? Well, I mean, I think you can just you can sell. You, you now you you'd have. You'd you have, have to, to like. The, you have to get a liquor license. Yeah, stuff, right. right. Yeah, but you can sell it. The issue is you can't have people just like cracking it in the streets. You know, like people chase, like chasing down, like actually well, crashing into the. Well, no, 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 no. It's fine something. for them to purchase it, but I'm saying like if if the environment that you're fostering is someone grabbing an ice cold beverage and then just like cracking it and feeling that they can just like now drink in the well, street. 
you just you, you give him a little wink and you say step twenty feet away, right. you know, and, no, then, of course. and then you drive away. Right. Well, know your market. Some places you can drink in the street. That's that's you know, true. That's, that's also actually a, very, a very good point. Yep. I heard that in Louisiana, you can uh, start. You could you could start your own parade. It'd be a, you could make a one person parade. You know, that's and, actually and smart because because you can drink in the street in Vegas too, right? Like, so yeah. like Vegas and New Orleans are, are two places that are, it's definitely legal. Yeah. Why don't they just have people driving around selling drinks? Ice so cold like, ice cold beer truck. It's so like sure you can get drinks everywhere in those places, right? Like it's not hard to get one. Yes. But you have to step into a place potentially wait in line if there's just a truck yeah like literally just driving down the street and playing its song and and uh you know it looks out the window every once in a while checks its rear views and stuff and if it sees a little little uh little full-grown man running behind it yeah, looking for a nice little beer it'll stop yeah yeah no, that's a good idea yeah i'm just like I, i'm trying to i'm trying to find a way to uh just like you know make a make a bunch of money and and uh live an enjoyable life you know yeah i get it so I think this is a pretty good. Uh, I'm also I'm also trying to. That's that's like been my main kind of my main focus lately in life at all is just to try to make as much money as I can. Yeah, it's really. I feel like that just would will, will eventually. People say that like you get rich and you're like still unhappy, but I want to find out for sure if that's true. Well, yeah, exactly. I'm prefer, not taking I'm not taking that idea at face well, value. Exactly. I'll prefer to at least try it out. You yeah, know? I would like to get rich, and then I'll determine for myself if that didn't make me happy or Ex- not. Exactly. Yeah. I have a strange inkling it's going to make me pretty happy. No, me too. I think it'll be. Mm-hmm. I think it'll work out good if if I ever achieve that. Yeah. What do you, What do you think? Like the drawbacks potentially could be for having well, too much money. I think. I think it's, just, it's it's the same thing as as having too much of anything in life. Is that you? All you're doing is you're masking a deeper unhappiness. Well, who was that? Who said uh, mo money, uh, mo problem? Who was that? Uh, some black guy. I don't know. Oh, well, that's racist. Dude. Wait, why? Was it a white guy who said mo money, mo problems? Yeah, it was Vanilla Ice, you fucking racist. <laughs> no, it sure wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him. Uh, I, I, don't think, I don't think it's racist to assume that the person who said mo money, mo problems was black. I don't know, man. You think that's you think it's racist to assume that was a black guy? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, technically speaking. Yeah, I mean, you were, you were assuming somebody's race because of the words that are coming out of their mouth. So, I mean, kind of racist. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, you know, I, I admit to being racist. But I think this time I'm not being racist. Actually, <laughs> either that or it's a, it's somebody who is appropriating a very specific speech pattern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, uh, is it is it bad to say uh, 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 wigger? Is that a is that a bad thing to say? I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing to say. But it like, feels it feels bad yeah, when I say yeah, it. Yeah, because of the yeah, exactly. And, Mark it. And like, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm gonna definitely. You know what I mean? Why? And then like, and then, <laughs> we're, no, no, no. Well, it, it, it's it's a W. For everybody out there, calm the, hey, calm down, everybody. Be easy enough to cut a nice end content uh, right in there. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> uh, he's like, Alan. He's like, is it okay if I say? <laughs> just like, it's like, whoa, no, dude. Whoa, it's like definitely not okay. God damn it. You're like, well, I don't know. Like, it's like. It's uh, it, it's it's one of those words where it's like it's really funny to say because the people you're talking about are very comical, you know. Yeah, right. You, uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't say it. You shouldn't say wigger. Well, I mean, you can you can say it, but like it it could just be so easily misconstrued. Yeah, that's right. No, that's that's another thing yeah, about it is not, that like it's not somebody worth it. somebody could say cracker. Assume, or like. Somebody could assume that you uh you you said the other thing very easily, and then you're on wankster. Then you're also, say wankster. Instead. Wankster. Okay. Yeah. That's All right. Good. Yeah, because it, it's just it's just not worth it. Yeah, there's there's a lot of risk involved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All it takes is one person thinking you said it. You'd be like, I didn't know. I wouldn't say that. And they're like, oh, yeah, I know what I heard. And that's going to get you uh, uh, beaten yeah. up. You'll get beaten up. Yeah. They'll, be, they'll beat you up because you said uh, the N-word. Uh, but Wigger is our word, though. You know? It is our word. <laughs> it's not the <laughs> R word. Yeah, we're taking Wigger back for the white man. <laughs> 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 God damn it! All right, well that whole section is getting cut out. Maybe well, I don't. I think it's fine. No, you're probably leaving it in. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, you, people in the context of this conversation, there's no, there's no like. Yeah, there's really no gray area. We laid it out pretty. pretty yeah, well, you didn't. You yeah. didn't accidentally say the n word. You're like, I meant wigger. You know, How, there, was, there was nothing like that. Yeah. I mean, you did, but we definitely cut that out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, I think we make this ice cold beer truck for the wiggers, though. Oh, it's just for, just for white people. Yeah. Well, no, 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 not just white people. <laughs> well, wait, not just white people. Well, but, but, but a specific sect of of white people. 
Right, but yeah. but you realize that that would still mean if it's four wiggers, it's just for white people. Well, I don't know. It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> can't. He'd be like, no, no, no. It's not just for white people. It's for wiggers. <laughs> It's just, a, it's just a hard conversation to, to have, you know? <laughs> well, they're they're very easy hard to, people. It's hard to justify. The, the only reason I'm saying that is because they're very easy people to please. You just, like, I feel like they all just, like, drink, like, fucking, you know, like, I don't know, Miller, Miller Lite or, like, I don't know, Old English or something. I don't know. I mean, I, like, I don't want to, I don't want to get into this that much, but, <laughs> okay. yeah, like, you we're know. Gonna, we're going to wander. You know, theoretically, direction. a wigger would drink, you know, Cavassier and... Hennessy and hypnotic and do you think so? I mean, I, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just saying if, I've if known I've known a couple in my follow, life. If we're following certain logic here, then I think that's probably what they drink. <laughs> All of this needs to be cut out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's t- this turned into something I did not intend for it to turn into. Ugh. It started out so wholesome. I just wanted to make a fucking uh, ice cold beer truck for my friends. And yeah, and then you, and you're like, yeah, but I have one strict rule in this no, beer no, truck. You, wiggers only. Just thought it was kind of a funny thing, but all right. Well, and then you're like, hey, what do wiggers drink? It's like I don't know, Alan. <laughs> what? Where, where is this conversation going to say, go? Like we've we've known we've known a couple of wiggers though. I don't have. Do I know a wigger? Give me multiple of them. Who? Or we grew up with a bunch of them in Castleton. No, we did not. Like actual wiggers, like actual, like Jamie Kennedy wiggers. Like okay, but like there's like different shades of you know this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there sure are, Alan. There's all sorts of different shades. <laughs> Fifty shades of wigger. <laughs> The Fifty Shades of Wiggerdom. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, look. Like, can we talk about something else? Yeah, man. That'd be, all right. That would be good. Uh, I, uh, Al- Alan, I got a question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. What's a five-cent coin called? A five-cent. <laughs> a nickel. Now you can cut that out. Oh, yeah. We'll get that <laughs> one in Oh, there, my too. God. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> this, uh, this whole episode is going to be Alan saying the N word <laughs> for 60 straight minutes. Like, I'm definitely, definitely going to cut it up and just see how I, mean, if, if I can get this out really good. Like, you guys could wreck my life, I think. I like, mean, what I, you I, did. I, I, you said, did. I, said, I said Wigger like at least fucking seven times already. Like, you could definitely. Fucking, I, you got me saying it a bunch that's too. What I, mean. you, 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 I like, like it. What is, what is a five cent piece called, huh, Josh? I call it the old Thomas Jeff. <laughs> Uh, I think that's a dime. What is who's that actor from? Uh, oh, is he on the dime? Who, who's who's that, on the who's on the nickel? I don't fucking know. Who's who's that actor from uh, Gone in sixty seconds? Nicholas Cage. There Ange- you go. Perfect. Hey, 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 sli- hey, slice it up. Slice it up. We got it. All right. Wait, what? Hey, uh, fucking chop it up and ship it. Are, out, you, are you trying to suggest that Nicholas sounds like the N word? Well, no, but you see, all you need is the N, though. Wait, well. All you just need is the end part, and then uh, you can uh, well the end you, you can dice that yeah. So we got that. We got both of those. Uh, interesting. Dice it up, ship it out, bud. We got it. Right? So you th- you think it's that good I'm, thing I'm editing this thing? Yeah, That's I was gonna I mean. say you, th- this you, think, you <laughs> uh, I mean, I would welcome that. If anyone else wants to? If you guys are willing to take on other responsibilities, our daddy is here for it. Yep. Yep. Well, this has been a very risque episode. So I don't far. even really think it has um, been. I don't know. Just because we're dancing on the edge a little bit. Well, we kind of always dance on the edge, all right? That's true. Um, I'm sick and tired of fucking teeter tottering. I'm taking a hard stance. Yeah. Hey, I uh, I, I, I saw my uh, unborn infant's uh, uh, beating heart today. That was kind of a fucking nice, crazy bud. thing. Nice, bud. Everything, everything on the up and up, baby. Good. It looks like it has a fucking beak, dude. Is that its dick? It's got a big dick. I don't know. I didn't know which side was up or which side was down, but it, you know, it looked like it had a beak or something was, going on. It was equally big on both sides. Yeah, I mean, it, like it's literally the size of it's it's a uh, half an inch right now. So, oh I mean, damn! Yeah, so I don't, I'm like, I don't really know. How old that. is it? Uh, eight weeks, one day, I guess. So, all, so nearly, yeah. nearly two months. Yeah, almost. Uh, yeah, well, it is two months now, technically. Nice. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys like take some celebratory shots when you got to see the baby? Well, of course. I mean, we uh, you know, shot some microwaves in there and 
fucking uh, roast it up, and it'll be out of there real soon. It, would would it be bad if I took one of those like grocery store checkout things and just like put it to your wife's <laughs> stomach for like a few hours? I feel like that's basically what they did with that fucking ultrasound thing. Oh, really? You know? I feel like it's probably the same thing, right? It's just like microwave. Yeah, or I bet that actually the old Walmart ones that don't work, they just refurbish them and then give them to the hospitals. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's exactly what they do. Yeah, basically the same thing. They're like, oh yeah, up. Oh, Gosh, if you think about it, it, could be the other way around. It could those be. Those things are pretty nasty. They are pretty nasty. I, uh, no I, th- doubt. I think it'd be cool to get one of those for your, the house, though. The ultrasound mas- machine. Yeah, it'd probably be expensive, but you know. Well, no, but like once you have it, though, I feel like it's not really. It's it's no like more expensive than running like a fucking refrigerator or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How how much is an ultrasound machine? But like, think about that. Like, if you ever if you ever just like, oh, I'm fucking constipated today. That's not too bad. Well, some of them say they're 100... That's 149 fucking dollars. Yeah, I mean, that thing's got to be a piece of shit. But... Yeah, but you could probably see inside of your tummy pretty good, you know? Interesting. I'm just saying, if, if you ever get real constipated, you're just like, what the fuck's going on here? And you just fucking, uh, you know, lube your tummy up. Yeah. Just kind of sh- fucking move it around. See what's going on in there. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be dope. Uh, yeah. You could see her. See or you could just swallow like random objects and just like watch them go through your intestines and shit. For That's fun. good. That's good stuff, man. I, I think I think all these ideas are great. I, th- I think 150 bucks. That's a that's a steal of a deal for this kind of entertainment. You know what I mean? Well, I've spent 150 bucks on uh, fucking less entertaining things. That's all I'm what? saying. Like what? I don't know. Like fucking like. There's probably something in here. Uh. I don't know. Actually, there's not. You know what's the craziest thing I ever spent 150 bucks on? What's that? Uh, I've, 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 I went on a date and I bought I bought food with her lady. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. I've spent, I've done that same thing where you go out and you uh, you it's like hey it's a fancy meal um for a fancy lady and then yeah then turns out. Uh, the food's not that fancy, and the lady is not that fancy, but you still have to spend one hundred and fifty dollars. Wait, you, you, we've talked about this before. You've gone on dates with ladies, right? Yeah. Didn't you say you like went to like Johnny Carino's with a lady one time? Or oh, something? that uh, that was me and uh, Carly's first date, oh, like actual that's right. actual lunch date, the dinner date or whatever. Wait, was it lunch or was it dinner? That nah, was dinner. Dinner at Johnny Carino's. Yep. You guys are fucking trashy, dude. Oh, it's super trashy, but they had good bread, dude. I used to <laughs> work good there. good bread. Man, have you ever had their bread before? Every place has good bread. Every oh, restaurant man, that comes and brings place... you a, a hot loaf of bread, I'm like, this is good. Dude, it's actually a sure sign that the restaurant isn't good. <laughs> yeah, they're focusing mean, way it... too much on the bread. <laughs> man, dude. That's like, okay. that's like Red Lobster with their fucking right. biscuits. It's like this place Texas sucks Roadhouse ass. and their butter. Yeah. See, they would give you these nice fucking roll, like fucking big old uh, loafs of bread or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and it was great because they would always have a fuck ton of them left over at the end of the day. So if you work there, you just fucking walk. You just like grab like a bag full and fucking make sandwiches out of them. Uh, and I would just make the fucking dopest. <laughs> you're sandwiches such ever. a cheap fuck, dude. <laughs> well, dude, this, this, these fucking little loaves of bread were Wait, delicious. So you're act. You actually brought little loaves of bread home and made sandwiches out of them? Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, I guess we did that at sandwich. Yeah. Restaurants. What are you fucking? What are you talking? Wait. About? What do you mean? You guys both. You worked. Okay. You worked at Subway and Jimmy John's. Yeah. Both of you worked at Jimmy. Yeah. John's. I worked at a place where and I made myself the the food that was there. Yeah, I know. But you I were didn't, like I didn't go over like, hey, can I get a bag for this extra loaves? Man, so I, I guarantee you sometimes <laughs> that's you a bring, way different thing. Well, I, you, I would would bring. Home. The wheat bread, I would. That shit was good. There you go. See? Well, that's different, Enough though. Said. How is that different? It's, 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 different, different. Bring, it's, bring different, home bread. it's way different than stuffing a fucking doggy bag full of fucking loaves from Listen, Johnny Carino's. Listen, man, if you, if, you tr- if you tried this bread... All right, I'm, I'm never, telling you. I'll never be at a Johnny Carino's. Why? Because I'm a fucking real wop. I don't go to that shit. Okay. You know what I mean? But I, I got class. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if some... If some uh, if some fucking Italian dude walked up to you and say, "Hey, I got a couple of uh, uh, nice loaves of bread here," you wouldn't fucking just be like, "All right, I'm taking these yeah, home and eat them." Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's not one Italian person who works at Johnny Carino's. I, w- I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I was, know. I was feeling mighty Italian when yeah. I was working you, there. Didn't so. you, yeah, you worked there too. Wait a minute. Were That's you, what I'm talking were about. You, were you? I'm not saying I went there and fucking like just shopped for bread. I literally you, worked there and fucking took it home with when me. When you when you worked there, that is that when you took her on a date there. No, it was well after that. Oh, I was going to say, this is fucking No, 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 it was, it was well after that. Yeah, that would have been really fucked up, actually. <laughs> no, I worked good. for the fucking drunk. You worked at the drunk noodle with I, me. Look, I man, know. I don't, the, the time frame the time, is all, Listen, this time... It's all whatever, all right, man. Okay, all right. Anyway, what did you... Did what, you marry us? What did you and 
the <laughs> what, what did you guys talk about on your first date? Uh, that's a great question. Th- I'm pretty you- sure I just talked about how I used to work there, and then I fucking was just like, yeah. Uh, let me let me slip it in. Did you did you did you did you like lead good conversation? Were you were you like charming? Were you like kind of killing it? Or do you not think you were? Oh no, I think I I think I did pretty good. You did do good. Yeah, I think I did all right. Carly yeah. might have a different take on this whole. God, scenario, I really want to know what you were like on a first date. <laughs> let's give her a call. Uh, oh yeah. Let's well, I mean, it. we could just tell her to come down here, and I'm I'm sure she would actually be willing okay, to. Okay, whatever. Make it more difficult. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? Yeah, go ahead. Just fucking ruin the whole podcast. Good lord. Hold on a sec. <laughs> fucking wigger. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. <laughs> uh. Hello. Hey, um, uh, we needed to ask you. So we're on the podcast. Uh, I, we're on the podcast, obviously. <laughs> we needed to ask you something. Okay, so um, Josh was wondering if on our first date at Johnny Carino's, if uh, you thought I was... Uh, quote unquote, a uh, uh, a smooth operator, like a funny, charming guy. Alan, you have never been a smooth operator. <laughs> oh, come on, did I, yeah. Did I at least like? Did I at least? I knew I was going to hear this. Did I at least feel good, good anyway. conversation or like? I mean, you've always been a good conversationalist. Okay, well that that's really kind of what we were asking, I guess. So it was. It, do you think it was a good first date though? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, See, like, I mean, that's that that clears things but, up. But you were, but were you? You already probably liked him a lot. Huh? Also, bit it's you're funny. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Is that just because I'm really fucking dumb? We immediately played Hey There, Delilah after we fucked. Her. Okay, well, let, all right. Well, let's. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away on this one. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you for your time. <laughs> Uh, really, I told you it was a real panty dropper, and I, I was correct because you. Good God! You, you did in fact drop your panties. At, so. le- at least you didn't. <laughs> beforehand, but <laughs> I, tra- I trapped her. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now you've really trapped her. Yep, sure did. Ain't going okay, nowhere. All. Yep. All right, it that- was a great first date. Okay, well that's that's disappointing to hear for the podcast, <laughs> but. <laughs> but I'm glad it was for I guess history's sake. <laughs> all right, all right, Susan. Well, thank you. Yeah, the, you should say "Bye there, Delilah." You should just bye, end it that way. Bye there, De- <laughs> bye there, Delilah. Or is she gone already? <laughs> oh no, she's still there. She's not just not talking. All right, well, talk to you bye. later. Susan. Bye, 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 bye there, Delilah. Bye there, Delilah. Well, that was good. Yeah, dude, fucking. <laughs> Everyone's so woke these days. It would be bi there, Delilah. You know what I mean? <laughs> She'd be b- b- bi. Bisexual? Yeah, bisexual Delilah. <laughs> it's so, it's a song for everybody, yeah, really. Yeah, exactly. He's like... Unless you're asexual. No, even even that. It's like she would be your, your asexual friend. Hmm, okay. Yeah. It's like, hey there, Delilah. I know you don't want to fuck me, but I'm asexual. Can we be very friendly this weekend? <laughs> we don't even have to have sex. No, we don't. Oh, we don't have sex. I'm asexual. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even need to write a song anymore, I don't no, think. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that was and good. then the other one is uh by there to lie. <laughs> I know that you suck pussy, but maybe tonight you could let me come inside you. Yes you could. <laughs> <laughs> if you like go. ladies and a dude. <laughs> oh yes you do. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, hey, classic, the, classic. You know that you know the story behind Hey There, Delilah, right? No, I don't know what's going on with it. Fill so, me in, uh, hey, Delilah was just like some random girl, and uh, it was just some girl that he like followed home, and uh, like he he camped out in her bushes. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. is that real? <laughs> yeah. How do you like uh, like is I can't tell if you're actually joking. Yeah, or yeah. So he was, he was like in his bushes for days, and was just kind of like he was like just about to kind of. You know, quote unquote, make his move. You know, yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden, that like that kind of ditty came to his head. He's just like, you know what? Maybe I can win her over this way. Instead, he's like, he's know? like, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on the uh, whole breaking and entering situation here, and I'm gonna just see if I can't write a number one hit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd say that 
the whole world is thankful for that, but Delilah most specifically is very thankful <laughs> that it worked out like that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the guy liked uh, really liked plain white tees, I hear. You know? <clears throat> you know who likes plain white tees a lot? Uh, who's that? Wiggers. Yeah, they really do. Um I've actually I've actually noticed that uh you've you've been wearing a lot of uh plain white tees and also like uh white uh white beaters. I always wear white beaters. Um Are you uh are you a are you a wig are you a wigger? <laughs> no, dude. Are you sure? I'm a white knight, dude. Oh, okay. Show him. Show him. How's your family? Show him. Tell him. My, my white knight? Hey, it's a family, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. It's a, but it's a family. It's a family problem, huh? Oh, it's like a uh, dot. Like a, yeah, it's a family problem. Like a Dom a f- uh, tor- Torino. Yeah, it's, it's all family. I don't Didn't think he's Italian, Italian but. Yeah, it's, all fam- <laughs> it's a family issue, all right? It's a family affair, it's you know? It's a family issue. Not part of the family. Just gonna, uh, en- just gonna enjoy some hearties on the podcast here. You know, time and time again, it's, it's the amount of times that you've made food and shared with everyone yeah. while on the want, pod. Do you guys want some fries or what? This no. guy is, is a bit at this point because I'm, I'm about to punch those off the table. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do that. And then I'm, I'm, bu- trying, I'm just trying to sustain life. I'm about to, here, so. I'm about to pull that PBR out so they all just fall on the floor, and then I'm gonna chug the PBR so he has Too nothing. Late. Shouldn't have gave your plan away, bud. You want to surprise or what? What I love about this guy is that he literally just has all day to just do anything. He has nothing going on. He works from what home. He's probably really putting in like four hours a day. And then the podcast comes out. He just like fucking drops a giant bag of I'm fucking Hardee's man, right? on the table. We, we get up to start the podcast. He's like, oh, yeah, I got to grab a beer. Listen, I only got I only got fucking. I mean, could could you be less prepared for the thing that you, the only thing you have to do all day? I only I only eat um, when I have. Time to sit around and chat with my fellas, you know, and that's that's this time. So I, I came in here and you were watching Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, it's important. You I could, need to. You co- could you could have eaten a few fucking curly fries while you were doing that. Didn't have them, you know. And then this guy is also <sighs> such a piece of. He has his pregnant wife going and picking him up food. It's yeah. like that is just not how it's supposed to work. I got cravings, you know. And that one's for the visual watchers. You'll yeah, see it. Yeah, in you'll actually see that instead of this fucking. So last week we just. We told you about how Alan was just out drinking with the fucking fellas. He's like, yeah, my wife wants a root beer, I guess. Can I grab a, can I grab a root beer to go? You got a new 1919 over there? You got like a Barks? Yeah. It's like, oh, whatever the bitch is, you know how she is. Jeez, and and then, uh, then this week, you said it. this week, his fucking <laughs> two month preg- two two months into pregnancy wife, sweet lady who literally just attested to his story that he was a good first date. Like, yeah. it, d- d- it comes into the room. First of all, she shouldn't be driving. The airbag hits that stomach. The whole fucking works is done, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got cravings. I don't know what to say. I don't know what yeah, to say. Yeah, it's, oh, it's just... You know what's weird? So she... um. <laughs> She has a. He just tries to divert it, like like it's not a her, problem. Her craving, like, like like this is somehow it's not a problem anymore because he can just go on to the next thing. Yeah. So her cravings are uh, yeah. uh, pancakes and root beer. By the way, how yeah. weird is that? I think it's actually not that weird. No, it's not. Um, what do you think the weirdest uh, one out there is? Huh? I don't know, man. Tell me. I honestly, when women talk about their cravings in their pregnancy, I literally it could put me into a coma. That's how boring it is. I do agree. I usually yeah. She's like, she's like, I had the six months. Oh my god, I had the weirdest thing, where I would eat peanut butter and pickles. That was it. It's like, just shut up, you dumb cunt. It's not interesting. <laughs> Talk about how you were drinking fucking peroxide or something. Make it exciting. <laughs> I just couldn't drink. Stop drinking gasoline. <laughs> it was a great. I couldn't idea. stop poisoning the fetus. <laughs> It was just a strange craving. <laughs> How crazy was that? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking wild. Yeah, man. That's how I've always felt about it. Hmm. But it's not really their fault. You know, like, there's this, like, pregnancy culture. It's the same thing as, like, marriage culture. It's, like, basically, like, if there's, a, if there's like, a real common thing that everyone just goes through, all normal people go through, yeah. then there's just, like, these tropes that everyone just falls into, and then no one ever veers from it, you know? Uh-huh. I don't know why it happens, but it's annoying. That's the one, though, the cravings. 
Hmm. You know what I mean? And marriage. That's why it's always like, oh, yeah, my husband, this fucking retard, leaves wet towels on the ground. What a fucktard. <laughs> this guy's missing all his chromosomes. Yeah. My husband does fucking small cocked. He fucking <laughs> never closes the tops on the cereal. He got stale cereal. Have you been fucking uh, mongoloid fuck? Have you been listening? To your, your guys' banter? Unfortunately, I did because I lived here, remember? Oh, fuck. I was like, hey. That was, you weren't even living here when he, <laughs> she was pregnant, though. Hey. <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> This hey, is really unfortunate. Hey, you limp dick douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to close the top on the sugar. He was eating sugar like a fucking retard. <laughs> like I'm trying to enjoy these pancakes because I'm pregnant. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is all good stuff. I wish Carly would just fucking boss you around and call you a fucking, just call you impotent and shit. <laughs> what do you? Hey, what do you got there now? Huh? You're not done with the Hardys? Hardy? Uh, that was just nope, got some more. Uh, phase one, huh? So what? What I found uh, with with fast food is that you have to eat the fries first, or else you get full from the sandwich, and then you don't eat the fries. So you, you cram the fries down your throat first. Yeah. And then you smash the sandwich afterwards. You know what I would do? What's now, this, that? this is just me. If, if I was you and I was in this situation, you uh-huh. know what I'd do? What's that? I'd just kill myself. You, you think so? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No. Uh, no. Uh, truly, though, I uh, I don't even get fries anymore because I, I came to that realization is that you don't you, you never actually need them. Cause if you eat, no, you don't. You know? I like them, though. So, like, I like curly fries. I like, yeah, curly uh, fries are, are, fan, uh, are really good. McDonald's fries. Really good as well. Uh, Arby's fries. Yep, really good. All good. Yeah. So, um, I like, you know, having them around, but it's like if I eat the sandwich first, and it's like I'll have, like, two of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You also have, like, a large fry there. Yeah, I crushed it. I know, but, but you don't have to, like, you should probably just have, like, the small fry. Um... I mean, you know, maybe. How fucking fat do you think you're gonna get? Oh, huge! When you like, the whole dad thing, you just, think you, just in gore. I think you actually might get fat. Yeah, I'm hoping so. <laughs> That's uh, it's been my goal for a while, actually. Dude, you gotta be careful though, dude. Like, I know that you and your wife got a good thing, but <clears throat> you know. No, no, I I've always said this. I've been really skinny my entire life. Yeah, I know. I want to see both sides of the fence. Yeah, that's and that's a real fun thing at the end. But I'm just telling you, I'll, I'll work it off eventually. Yeah, but when if you get if you get single, like if your wife like just like packs up the kid and all the things, and well, just, I'll, just, like, I'll just start working west. out. Yeah, it's not that hard. Okay, I got you. It's I mean what is oh I gotta fucking run a little bit. Well, I gotta no, I mean pick up objects. Oh, well, I'm just ooh, I'm just observing. You know? I'm observing the way you, you live, <laughs> and it, it'd be a. <laughs> And you're and you're somebody who who certainly has somehow maintained skinniness despite doing pretty bad things to your body all the time. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what I'm saying is when that flips around, I think it might be actually difficult for you to get back to that point. Oh, I got to go to this place and lift something up for a while. Ooh. Yeah, all right. You know? All right. You guys are all dumb. I would, you know? lo- I would love everybody. Everybody who's fat out there is fucking fat. This is exa- fucking dumb. Honestly, yeah. I, I actually agree. Oh, you got to go and run around for a little bit. Ooh. What, what I think you know? people who are fat, I think they're very weak willed. You know what I mean? Yeah. D- don't you agree? I do agree. They they're very weak of will. Like like food like literally food dominates them. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. It's, an, but, in, it's um, a, an inanimate object dominates their life. I, I am probably gonna get fat as fuck and just never lose it because I'm I'm you know you'll just be a dad and it won't matter. Yeah, exactly. I'll just have that dad bod rolling. Yeah, it won't matter. No one will care. And I uh, found a wheelchair today. Did you? You guys already have a wheelchair? Yeah, I found another one. So you got oh one for you and the wife. Well, yeah, exactly. We're going to race. I'm going to have races in the yeah. garage. But also, when I get really fucking fat, I got a wheelchair. Um, and I can just wheel my way to uh, Hardee's and get my next uh, you know, hot ham and cheese fix. Yeah, where, where's the nearest Hardee's at? Um, 94 in Lexington or Hamlin. Nice. Is that actually a hot ham and cheese? Is that actually what you're eating? Yeah. That's a weird choice, man. They're so good. Are they good? Mm-hmm. A hot see that's definitely a thing that like how much how much does that cost? How much is a hot ham and cheese? Five bucks for the meal. Wait, it's five bucks for hot ham and cheese and fries and a soda. It's five dollars for that. Mm-hmm. Baloney. There's no way it's true. I'll look it up for you. Yeah, look it up. Hey, look up how much a hot ham and cheese combo is. This is bullshit. There's no nothing is five dollars anymore. No, I'm gonna let Pete keep doing his thing. I'll look it up. 
He's got some important business going I, on. Once there. again, this guy just thinks he can just fucking call all the shots. No, I'm just helping him out. He's over there working hard. I've been I've been seeing him working on stuff. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not yeah. just some dude. Hey, that's a weird choice, though. What do you mean? Hot ham and cheese is so good. Yeah, no, but, um, but, not Arby's, Hardee's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's like the same shit. Nope. Wrong. So, let's see here. Hardee's menu. I mean, you said it was five bucks. Of course it's got to be Harvey. Like, Hardee's is a little better. Than oh, Harvey. damn. He's actually not lying. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't a small fry, though. That was not $5. It is $5. No, no, I, well, if I asked you get... for the fries separate. But I'm just saying you could get the meal. So it's obviously less than that for the hot ham and cheese, you know? That might be the that might be the best deal in fast food, other than the fact that you can just go and make your own hot ham and cheese very easily. But look at how fucking thick this thing is. This is a thick boy. Yeah, but ham ham is a very cheap it's a very cheap deli meat. It's the cheapest deli meat. I mean it's also the one of the tastiest though, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard for me to respect a guy who who goes and and, and buys a hot ham and cheese. I mean, you're, you're kind of you're kind of showing your um, yourself as somebody who's just never had a hot ham and cheese before. Well, I, I've made many a hot ham and cheese. You made them, but you never had one at Hardee's. Though, yeah, because so. I don't I don't do go and do that. All right, well, <laughs> I hate even watching you eat it. I'm like, I'm getting just upset. This whole thing is just upsetting. <laughs> your whole attitude right now is just bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, fucking a man. Yeah, I'm having fun though. I know that's that's what's upsetting me is that you have this like strange like smugness about your fucking activity right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know where where's this where this is coming from. <laughs> it's really fucking upsetting. <laughs> it's like I have just this this strong urge to somehow in any way I can just take it down a peg and make you feel uh, feel bad about yourself. <laughs> Because you're just like you're just enjoying that like you're, you're really dogging, I'm you're, hot ham and you're really either. enjoying this fucking Hardee's right so now. It's so good, and it, I hate it. I hate I it. I offered some to you, but you didn't want any. We, we started this. You started this com- this podcast off taking this into such an awful direction that I couldn't. What do you mean? I could ice. I, I, are you, wait, hold on a second. Are you saying the ice uh, cold beer truck? No, I'm bag? talking the ice cream truck in, uh, transition into the wigger truck. <laughs> You started it like that, and then you dug it into a hole, and I was like, "All right." I tried to. And 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 no, it was fine. And then we we got out of it. And then next thing you know, you're just plopping a bag of fucking Hardee's on the table, and he's like, "Yep, hot ham cheese, really good, man." And he's eating a fucking large fry. I mean, it's just it's a lot going on, man. You could just ignore it if you wanted to. <laughs> no, that's not what you mean. I just don't understand why you're fucking fo- focusing on this so much. <laughs> you're such a fucker, dude. <laughs> like as if there's any as if there's any option. All right, man. Guess we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just call this the uh, uh, Hardee's uh, Josh Commentary Podcast. How about that? Um, Honestly, yeah. I, I could talk about Hardee's a lot. Hardee's uh, is good for really uh, maybe two things. Hardee's is good for maybe two things. Hardee's is good for their chicken strips. Their hand-breaded chicken strips are very good. Uh, their, <laughs> their hand-breaded chicken strips are really good. Uh, the hot ham and cheese blows dick. It's like literally the worst hot ham and cheese you can get. Um, and their curly fries are good. Uh-huh. I, there's no really other reason to go to Hardee's. How do you feel about their uh, Fresco burger? No. No? No. It's too much mayo. Hardee's, the Hardee's burgers are not good. You ever had a Fresco? Of course. I've had it all. It's got a. It's on a, a sourdough. Texas, Texas, Texas toast. I'm pretty sure it's sourdough. Sourdough. Okay. See, I like that. It's like a patty melt. You know. Yeah, I don't. Like, I also don't like patty melts. Really. Really, not anywhere. I would. I would rather have a cheeseburger. <clears throat> but like, it's basically the same thing, just with different bread. Yeah, but it's like on a piece of fucking toast instead of a nice like brioche bun. Yeah. What if like what if it was like the best toast you've ever had in your entire life? Well, look, I'm not definitely not ruling out the fact that there could be a good patty melt that, that I haven't had yet. But to me, it's like a patty melt, just like a, a cheap. It's a cheap excuse for a burger, you know what I mean? Uh huh. It's like, it's it's like uh, that fucking hot ham and cheese you have your hand. You could make a good one at home, and instead you go, and you go there and get that piece of shit. I actually do think um, it'd be worthwhile testing out making a nice like uh, patty melt at home, like a yeah home one. You know, and, and nice look, I'm sure cheese. there's a restaurant that has a good patty melt. But I'm just saying, generally speaking, I look at a patty melt, I'm like, I would like, I would just rather have a burger. I like a bun. I like a nice brioche bun. 
Yeah. Nice light toast. You know what I mean? I don't want like I don't want like the roof of my mouth getting cut up while I'm eating a fucking patty melt. Fuck that shit, dude. <clears throat> Fair enough. Like I, like, I, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a bun texture thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Th- that and it's just like I just don't think it's as good. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't like the ratios. Um. So that so Hardee's has two good things. Is what I'm saying. Uh-huh. And one one of those was in your bag. So I'll give you that. Curly fries are great. However, Arby's curly fries are just as good as the Hardee's. They're basically the same fucking thing. I I could. They really are. Yeah. I bet if you had them side by side, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No. How do you feel about that? I'm actually pretty okay with that. Do you like Arby's? I do. What do you like from Arby's? You just like everything? You like their, their you like their gyro? So I think we <laughs> talked about this before, but the um, five for five deal was the greatest. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, we have talked about it. It was the greatest uh, it was. thing in it, all of. It fast was the food best history. fast food. Yeah, I yeah. totally agree. And so on there, they had the uh, Arby's melt. Which was basically yeah. Just a hot I, hit we've thing. also discussed this. I fucking hate the Arby's mouth. So it's good. disgusting. So good. Yeah. So you like gross shit. Every every podcast it, it comes down to like you talking about like defending Ovaltine and defending just some weird shit you like. See, I still don't understand how you're against Ovaltine. I, I, look, I don't. I, I just don't care to even know what it is. We don't it's have absolutely to, disgusting. Exactly. We don't have to get back into this. No, I don't want guys, to. Both you guys just aren't smart. Is kind of what. Yeah. I think. No, I'm not 90 years old. You just make you make sure. weird you make weird choices. No. Ovaltine, Ovaltine, is hot ham and guy, cheese, okay, what patty you, melt. You, you I'm, just what you, I'm just wondering your what you guys choices think. are interesting. I'm just wondering what you guys think chocolate milk is. You know what I mean? You know what I think it is. I, I know we kind of we said this earlier, but I think I'm just like a, a kind of a different class of human than you. You know, <laughs> like sure you make more money, so like on paper it kind of looks like you're maybe higher, but like. Oh yeah, I'm I'm the lower rung. I'm like I'm, yeah. I'm lower tier, you know. Like you're just, you're just like a hot ham and cheese. You're like a fucking beef and cheddar. You yeah. like okay. you're, you're just like all the gross like, shit that poor people eat. What what do you think? Like ex- explain <laughs> explain the composition of chocolate milk to me. All right, like what is chocolate milk? It's chocolate inside of milk. Okay, but how what like how do they get the chocolate into the milk? Through a powder or through a sub or a liquid substance? Why are you asking people who don't know the answer? What do you mean? He knows he he answered correctly. I don't. We don't work at a fucking creamery. He, he yeah, literally, he literally yeah, just do answer, I, do, he answered do I look, correctly. Do I look yeah, like, we can assume things. Do chocolate. I look like a fucking milkman to you? <laughs> well, yeah. So it's a powder. So you look like a fucking Oltan. milkman. Well, man, milkmen actually weren't fat. They were like a handsome. Like they milkmen like looked like they like served one tour like overseas and then became milkmen. They're like I think, did they're, Chappelle do like the, a milkman I, skit? Oh, what yeah. was that called? Oh, again? did he? I think I think your only interactions with Milkman are with from the like leave, milk it, man. leave it to Beaver know. or like oh, fucking there, I man. Love Lucy or some shit. Am I missing something? Huh? Oh, uh, it's called the Wiggers. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do remember that now. No, it, oh, sorry, it was, sorry. It, was, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't. That was the actual other word though. The N word with the hard R. It's literally what you said. Yeah. That's what you said every time on this podcast. Oh yeah, that's right. You uh, you, you only say the n word. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> okay, so, so what were you saying? Sorry, PD. I was I, I was looking at PD. You, yeah. you, you were saying so, something. Uh, we we come to the conclusion that uh, oh, chocolate yeah. milk the chocolate gets into the milk via powder or uh, some yeah, yeah. sort of liquid. I, right? we, we're moving on from that. Actually, we we had moved on to the point that you're like a real fucking class. Well, Ovaltine guy. is Ovaltine is powder, and that's where the chocolate comes from. Basically, milk, basically, you're right? like a really trashy guy. It's very, it's is, very is, simple. Is what, is what we've come down to. All right. Well, yeah, of course. That's but I, that's what I want. That's what I'd prefer to talk about. You know, like there's the type of guy who who would go on a podcast and just plop down a fucking a hot ham and cheese and a fucking large curly fry, just chomping into the microphone. Just a real fucking animal. Mm-hmm. That's what you are. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, some of the uh, some of the best things in life are some of the simplest things in life. That's what I've come to understand. No, I yes, and that's something that like uh, a real salt of the earth retard would say. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need much. Yeah, as long as I. <laughs> As long as I got my mammy and I got my family, <laughs> my mammy and my family, and my, tur- and my turnip bush. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, dude. You know what? We 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 just we just touched on the fact how wealth enriches your life. Now, you can you can live better and you can spend money in good ways and then actually enjoy some of the finer things while still being a dirtbag like I am. You know what I mean? Like the the, the the five dollars for that hot ham and cheese is, it doesn't justify eating the hot ham and cheese. It's a trash move, dude. I mean, I'm like I'm full, like I'm full though. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. People get people eat Jack's pizzas and get full too. I actually like Jack's pizzas yeah. too. <laughs> He's such a fucking piece of shit. They're, they're so they're like three dollars, uh, and they're like the see, perfect dude. they're like the perfect thin crust pizza. You know. I mean, it's just and, and you like you can just fuck them up with sauce too and not feel. If bad I about made it. as if I made as much money as Alan did, you could just get a nice bottle of fucking hidden. If, if I ever if and I just, and if, just drench the whole fucking pizza in that thing and then just slam it. If, oh, if I made so as much good. money as Alan did and I ate like this, I would just hope someone would come into my house. And just kick my ass every time I took a bite of that bad food. Listen, I've just been, I'm, I'm just like Warren Buffett, all right? Yeah, how, how? Very frugal, you know? Yeah. I bet Warren Buffett only eats hot ham and cheese. I guarantee Warren Buffett eats at the finest establishments in all of Omaha. I, I guarantee if you go into his house and look in his pantry, it's uh, top top to bottom fucking Ovaltine. Maybe because he's old. And he bought them back in fucking uh, uh, 1990. Yeah, well, uh, and hasn't had to restock. He bought them real cheap. Well, it's because they halted bulk, production in, in 1990. No, nah, they're still going. I got some upstairs. Are you looking up Warren Buffett's uh, pantry? Do you think they have a picture? Oh uh, boy, that'd be cool. That'd be cool if they did have actually. Uh, well, yeah, he does have like some eating retarded habits. eating. He's like, I still eat McDonald's once a week. Oh, I guarantee he's doing some real. This guy's fucking, he's right. full of shit. So he's the full of fucking shit. Eating habits have been the subject of many interesting articles, and for good reason. The ninety-one-year-old. Oh, he's ninety-one. Holy shit! Full of shit. And Chairman he's, famously he's trying to seem like an every man when he's just not. preferring this hamburgers, hot dogs, cherry coke, and McDonald's to any high. Yes, yeah, so and this was and this was written and this is written probably by some fucking local Omaha also, rag he's, also that he's wants been to seen, fucking make their city seem relevant. They're so happy that Warren Buffett's Warren there. Buffett has also Bullshit. been has also been seen indulging in the uh, much beloved chocolate milk uh, Ovaltine. It says it right there. It does not say that. Well, I mean, way to lie to the audience, huh? <sighs> this is bullshit. He doesn't even. What does he look like, though? Actually, let's take a look at him. I don't even actually know what this fucking guy really looks like. Is he fat as fuck? If he's not fat, he's he's bullshitting all of us. He's like a. He's pretty thin still. I think he's a fat he's, old he's, guy. No, 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 he's thin. Look at him. He's old fat. What do you mean? He's well, you can eat. You can shit. eat fast food and still <clears throat> not look fat. He's he's pretty. You he's just don't eat thin. a fuck ton of it. Yeah, you just like have he's, a hamburger every hour. But he's not—he's not thin. Look, he's not like a big fat fuck. But he's what not. What are you talking thin. about? Look, look at every single picture there. He's a fucking thin dude. Uh, type in Warren Buffett shirtless. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this. Anyone can look skinny in a fucking suit. There he is. Oh. Wait, what? I don't think that's Warren Buffett. Oh yeah, dude. He used to look just like Marky Mark, dude. I think he's fat. Warren Buffett actually was in uh, uh, the Funky Bunch, you know. Yeah, Warren Buffett and the Funky Bunch. Uh, who do you think has a better body, Warren Buffett or Lizzo? Uh, you know my my boy uh, Warren Buffett here. You know, look, he's fucking thin as shit. That the dude. Are about. you looking at that picture on the right? That is not thin as shit. Yeah, thin as shit. I wouldn't say, but he's not fat. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you like? He's, he's he, not. He, he's old. Fat. He's old fat though. Like, what do you mean old fat? Like, like that's like old people just kind of have that fat shitty body that he has. Like, he's not like he, look. He's not like an obese fat guy, but he's old fat. Because you can be old skinny he keeps too. Say, he keeps saying old fat and old skinny. And yeah, I, I think they're. The, I think the, they're the same thing. There's as only just being two fat the, and skinny. There's only two. When it comes to old, you're either old skinny or old fat. Or like old obese, I guess. Like, but those guys are dead. You don't, you don't, you don't get to be old obese, really. Like you, you're dead. Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's old sense. fat. Like you, you could tell he he didn't really care about his body that much because he's got the fucking he's got the the hangy tits and he's got the hangy fucking gut. I mean, to be fair, he's 91 years old. He looks like shit. He needs to figure it out. <laughs> I w- I wouldn't fuck that guy. I would for the fucking money. You think he'd give you money? Yeah, of course. He'd just be like, "Oh, thanks for fucking me. Now go home." He'd just be like, "Here, fellow homosexual." Like, here, young man. Uh, I I don't know how much an Uber uh, yeah. is anymore. Here's fucking thirty thousand dollars, and I'd be like, "All right, thanks, Warren. I'll see you next." Well, Tuesday. he supposedly eats McDonald's three times a week, so he probably does know what what com- does, what, what common does, things actually. cost. But that's, dude, he's a liar. He told no. He for fucking, he fucking sure does, dude. I mean, he looks. He definitely has a body that, that suggests that he does it. That's but what I'm saying this is how this is how you get rich, man. You fucking. But you can also the, just eat the fuck. Eat what the common folks do. But you know? can also just eat a lot of like good food. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's not like when you go to a five star restaurant, you're like getting healthy food. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's not necessarily healthy. But it's just fucking fantastic. Well, it says natu- It says natural on it though. What what the, the five star restaurant does? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> it just says it natural. Says organic. 
grass fed. Yeah. Uh, should we take a break? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We'll be back after this very after the short break. Messages. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Pirate's Booty, aged white cheddar rice and corn puffs. Ooh wee! It's delicious and good. Holy shit! Uh, all right. Um, second advertisement of the podcast is brought to you by uh, Hardee's hot ham and cheese. <clears throat> Cash money, billionaire. We- Weezy does it. Hardee's for fucking trashy idiots. And now time for the second half of the podcast. <laughs> It's the Going Hard Podcast. Producer Pete, Alan, and John. Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Hey, uh, pro- oh. uh, hey, Alan, how was your break then? Yeah, my break was all right. I, uh, did you think about digested my food a little? Did bit. you digest some of the words I had for you about the way the, your lot in life and the way you're perceived by your peers? No, you see, somebody with my stature doesn't really have to reflect on themselves much. I've learned. Yeah, that's true. People who are of that lower class seem to be kind of proud of those values. Well, here's a, like I'm a I'm 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 a higher class, but I uh, I I live modestly. You know? Yeah, but you're not rich enough to. But live. I can live however I want because I'm a, I'm an upper classman. You're you know? not upper class. Here's the deal. You do, see, <laughs> it's cool when like billionaires like dress like shit. It's like, oh, that's dope. But when a guy was like, you know, I've, uh, middle class dressed like shit, it's like oh, he's just a piece of trash. You know, well, you, I mean? you know when you like get a high score, like uh, on those old arcade machines or whatever, you get the high score, and then because it it's a dumb old machine, it fucking wraps back around again. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's that's the point I'm at. I've beat the I've beat the game. I'm looping back around for a second go, you know. Man, I hope that you just like lose your job and everything <laughs> just falls apart. It's looking like it's looking likely, bud. <laughs> Listen, my impl- my uh, my coworkers know about this podcast. The beginning of the end's coming, you know. Yeah, you you fucking sealed your own fate on that one. Buddy. I, re- I really did. You fucking know? that was the beer. One of uh, one of the coworkers uh, uh, messaged me the other. Day. She's like, uh, she's like, yeah, I listened to the the podcast from the uh, the Fourth of July one, and. Uh, your uh your, your co-host he uh he he was be- he like I'm sure he was being sarcastic but was he entirely sar- sarcastic about the gay pride parade stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, Wait, did this actually happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he's like he just takes it a little bit far sometimes, you know. <laughs> but. Uh... <laughs> All I'm saying is the beginning and the end, bud. You know what is what is funny is that like to me, the the things that come up on this podcast and like the things I actually just say anyway, yeah. like are so like ludicrous that I can't imagine people like taking them seriously. Yeah, but I forget that there's like a whole world out there that like doesn't not know you. Well, well yeah, and like it just like doesn't engage in these types of conversations <laughs> just like at all times. Yeah, so I completely forget that like my like whole perspective on life is just so fucked up and just like not natural for the for most people that they're like will actually just like think that i would openly talk about how much i was happy that pride was over and that i like was disgusted by trans people like it's like to me someone saying that is just so ludicrous like that there's no way anyone would ever like openly profess that yeah 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 well, that's what I mean. I like I know it too, but it's just like uh, it's like goddamn. <laughs> but how is it not obvious? Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, like because there are actually people out there that fucking have those viewpoints. But what's also retarded about that is that you're just sitting there listening to me say, "You're like, yeah, yeah," you know, like like you're well, not. I gotta let you do your thing. Uh, no, you know? I know, but what I'm saying is, if I was actually being serious about that, you you would just be sitting there being like, "Yeah, I guess." It's no, d- no, different different state of mind, you know. You'd be like, <laughs> yeah. "No, dude, that's fucked up. Why are you saying that? Like, why do you believe that?" <laughs> You wouldn't just allow me to like have those beliefs. We couldn't hang out if that was the thing no, I believed. No, 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 you know no. what I mean? Hundred percent. Like if, if somehow I did actually end up going like deep down that right wing route, which yeah. look, I'm not ruling it out, but I'm saying as of now, I haven't actually done it. Yeah. You wouldn't just sit there and be like, yeah, you know, that's who Josh is that's now. Like Josh fucking lost his shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Still, like, what the hey, fuck? still respect the guy's views. You know, everyone's got their own ideas. I'm just like, fuck trans people. Oh, You're like, shit. hey, it's fine. Just you know, a different guy. You know what? You know what sucks about that though is like I I I still like my father and fucking he's he's kind of 
<laughs> he's kind of barreling towards that But it's that different. Direction. It's different with someone who is so much older. Yeah, that's you. That's you true. have to give older people a pass for not being progressive. Because oh yeah, everybody, that's why it's called progress. I feel like we've been talking about that fucking like the crazy racist uncle at Thanksgiving. Like I feel like that's a very like fucking common trope. Yeah, you know what it I mean. Sure is. Yeah, it's, been, it's because it's been around for fucking right. forever. You know, exactly. So, same, same thing, I suppose. Yeah, it, it, it's always it's always gonna seem that way because it's 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 called progress. It's called being progressive for a reason. You know, like yeah, we 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 allegedly have progressed from your uncle's views. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same. And, and you can't expect an old person. You can't teach an old, uh, an old, old an old, old Trump dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the old Trump dog. That yeah, being that, that being said, I uh, next I just thought it was really fucking funny. Yeah, though. no. That being yeah. said, I'm gonna definitely do a terrorist event at next year's Pride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that what we talked about? No, I, I, I did actually, not. I did not think we doing a terrorist event. I completely. I. I like. Um. I skipped watching that episode. I was gonna go back and listen to it, and sure. she started talking about. It. I'm just like, oh, I do remember him saying some pretty fucking wild <laughs> shit, and I like still don't fully fucking remember what well, it is. Well, I don't remember much either. I think. I think what I did is I went on this rant about how. Uh, well, we talked about dementia, and so I was like. I was like, I tell you what, in fucking America these days, I feel like I have dementia. I don't recognize anything. You know? <laughs> it's like I walked out. I don't even know what. I don't even know what fucking country I'm in. You know? Where? Yeah. Where am I? I'm lost. You know, I'm like a dementia patient Jesus. in this country. Yeah. And I talked about how uh, I went to Pride, <laughs> and I wore a, I wore like a, like a white, like a, a straight Pride shirt at Pride, and then like this black guy told me to. To cut my penis off, I told oh, I told yeah. him to cut his penis off. Oh, that's that's def. I guarantee that's what she was talking about. She's like, she's like, did he really go to Pride and cut his penis See, off? <laughs> See, because I I can like uh, I can like actually imagine you like yelling into a crowd that you're gonna cut your penis off and somebody like getting weird about it. I would not do. This is the thing. I would never actually do these things. I mean, like I can see you doing that like very sarcastically. You know, where you're just I would like, not oh, cut my penis. I off. wouldn't actually you know, go to Pride in front of actual trans people and be like, I'm gonna cut my dick off. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I, I don't even know what circumstances I'd say I'm gonna cut my dick off. I don't think I've ever said that early, like too publicly. Yeah, I suppose. I guess this podcast apparently has a little bit of public. Aspect Spe- speaking to it. of speaking of that, how much uh, how much money do you think it would take? <laughs> Come on, give me I'm a not, do- give I, me a dollar. Sign. I'm literally not even going to entertain this for a why, second. Why is this taking this? Because this topic episodes? has literally taken up 45 minutes of podcast. God damn it! All right, well let's make a fucking song then or something. Huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. that sounds good. All right, uh, let's uh, we're gonna make a song. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to the uh, podcast. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Just want to say one more time that uh, we're sorry for any jokes we made. Well, I mean, I I am at least. I don't know about this guy over here, but... I love the trans community. <laughs> and honestly, I think my favorite month of the year, Pride Month. Yep. Uh, uh, anyways, we got a song here for you oh, guys. Yeah, uh, uh, P- oh, yeah. Pierce Oh. Yeah. He's not here. Yeah, he's gone. Well, uh, enjoy the song, ladies and gentlemen. We'll uh, see you uh, next time. Bye, everybody. Uh, Goodbye. You need to step up your class. Quit being proud of of trash You can live so much better than this Just because you were born a piece of shit That doesn't mean you have to stick to it Just because you are a piece of shit have to accept it Don't eat hearties Ham and cheese Don't drink that Oval tea You can rise above your circumstances of magnificent clouds but when you
Fucker. Okay. 